What is up, Bat Family? My name is Dan, and I want to talk to you guys about the Batman. But not only, I don't really want to have to sit here and give you a review of the movie or a spoiler review. The movie's been out for about three weeks. Um, obviously, I can go in detail, and I will over time tell you guys how much I love the film, guys. Uh, well, first and foremost, my Bat Cave is coming along. I like to think quite nicely. It's not 100% done, obviously. I, I got to get myself. I gotta get the walls finished. I gotta get the rest of my comics up and the rest of my uh, figurines and stuff up. However, a couple things I want to talk about. Uh, first and foremost, um, I want to talk about what I want to see in a Batman sequel. And here we go. First and foremost, um, got to get a new desk for the Batcave. It's it's an embarrassment. I literally just have a fold-out table right now. Uh, I have a temporary setup. However, I do think it looks better than the old one. I think the, the walls really come together nicely. The whole room is really starting to come together. And I'll do a Batcave update very soon, guys, because I'm going to be getting um, carpet in here. So that's I'm really excited about it. But anyway, so a couple things I want to see in... The Batman sequel. First and foremost, what are we going to call it? What are they going to call it? I should say. What I would prefer they call it is, you know, the Batman something something something, or an entirely different name. Kind of like you had Batman Begins, and then you had the Dark Knight, um, and then the Dark Knight Rises. I actually like that more a lot of times than just you know, kind of like the Star Wars treatment where each title has a different name. And without any spoilers, I'm going to go right off in the beginning and say I hope the next film deals with the Court of Owls. I hope one of the films do. Not necessarily doesn't have to be the sequel. It could be from what I've heard they can do their they want to do like four movies in total or maybe four new movies. It kind of changes day to day, but from my understanding they at least want to have a trilogy, maybe even uh, four movies total. So what I would love to see though guys is a Court of Owls. I think it's one of the better in the last twenty years Definitely in the last 10 years, I think it's the best, or one of the best. I don't want to be definitive here, but I think it's one of the best Batman stories. Um, I think it would work perfectly in this more, you know, realistic world where you can't, you can have villains like Poison Ivy and Mr. Freeze. And I know Matt for, Matt Reeves has talked before about Mr. Freeze, but it's harder to do those type of characters without making them too different from their comic book. Because if you're going to make it too different, then what's the point of having Mr. Freeze if he doesn't, in my opinion, if he doesn't have his freeze gun, if he doesn't have his, you know, mech suit. Um, first and foremost, I would say Court of Owls. Uh, another one that I really, really want to see, and hear me out on this, because I know I'm going to get a lot of flack, I think, in, in uh, comments and stuff like this, but I really want to see Clayface. I want to see Clayface done right. And there's not a particular way I want to see it, and I know in a lot of, as Clayface has evolved, he's become less and less, like, Spider-Man's villain, the Chameleon, where he just can shapeshift into different people. He's become more of like this monster blob thing. I really think Batman the Animated Series did a great job on doing uh, Matt Hagen's version, the movie star who you know has fallen out of grace and had a resurgence using this formula that can fix his face. I think that's a really intriguing one. Have it darker though. Have him you know he has to commit murders for the mob in order to you know keep getting this product. I think that'd be a really cool one. I think keep it grounded in the fact that the Batman was great because we finally saw Bruce Wayne and Batman. We finally saw Batman be Batman. Don't get me wrong, I love the warehouse scene in Batman v Superman where Batfleck just takes out two dozen dudes. I could watch that all day. Um, things I loved about the first film, obviously I loved the bat suit. I loved the cowl. Um, I was one of the ones who really loved Robert Pattinson. Uh, right from the get-go, as soon as I heard his name. My wife expected me to have a Ben Affleck moment where I freaked out, hated it until I saw him. And I actually loved it right off the, right the get-go. Because I know he's a great actor, he just got a lot of bad flack for Twilight. So anyway, kind of rambling, guys. This is going to be a video I'm going to ramble because uh, I'm very passionate about this. The Batman, uh, Spider-Man No Way Home, I didn't think a movie would top it for me for a while. I really loved the movie. But the Batman did. I saw it three times. I saw it twice in IMAX. I uh, think I want to see in the sequel. I want to see way more Batmobile because that Batmobile chase scene, that startup when you watch in IMAX, because I saw it once in a regular theater, and it was 
still awesome, but the IMAX, both times, like, your seat's rumbling, your head's just, like, shaking. It's it's awe-inspiring, in my opinion. It, it really is. I could have, at that moment, died a happy man, and um, it was just epic, absolutely epic. But anyway, I want more Batmobile. I absolutely want more of the criminal side, and I personally like the smaller criminals a lot of times. Joker's great. You know, Joker's great, but Joker's larger than life. Same with, you know, Two-Face. A lot of Batman's A-list, you know, uh, villains, they tend to be larger than life. You can't tell a story without... You have to really have them center-focused, and you can't have anyone else. Whereas, to me, you can have Clayface, and he could still operate with... Um, they talk about Sal Maroney, but he's never shown. Have Sal, Mo- Sal Maroney back out of prison, taking over. You have Penguin taking over some spots. I want to see... Uh, things like that. I want to see the, the gritty side of Gotham before all the supervillains come in. I find that about Batman just as intriguing, if not sometimes more intriguing than all the supervillains. I find um, the small side of Gotham. I find the guys like Rupert Thorne. I find the guys like Carmine Falcone. Obviously, he's dead in the at the end of this film. Spoiler alert. Um, but I find the guys like Rupert Thorne very interesting. I find the guys like... Um, I know they made Roland Daggett, I know, was, you know, not as popular. I know he was made up uh, later on. And, but guys like that that aren't necessarily mob, well, Rupert Thorne's a mob boss, but okay, Roland Daggett. Um, find guys like that. There's plenty of them in Batman Mythos. I would love to see that explored, and I think the Penguin show is going to do that. By the way, Colin Farrell's Penguin, absolutely spectacular. Loved it. Loved every second of it. So, again, guys, I apologize. I'm just kind of... Just shooting off my mouth right now, telling you everything because I this movie I've seen uh, three times now, like I said, and I just so many things I want to see. But so first and foremost, I'd love to see a Court of Owls movie. To me, don't do any other plot. Court of Owls is enough. You don't need anything else. Um, two, I want to see a Clayface movie when you do it with the other mob bosses. So maybe the Clayface one could, in a way, you could set up Robin. You could set up. Um, other mob bosses taking over. You could have Penguin growing in his influence. So I think that's really a cool Scarface-esque type of thing. I know they're trying to do that with the Penguin for a show. So Court of Owls, uh, Clayface, uh, give me Rupert Thorne, give me, you know, um, Carl or er, Roland Daggett, you know, guys like that. So um, if I was going to go another villain, honestly, this I, there's so many I'd be okay with, but one that... I don't hear anyone talking about, and I think would be really creepy, um, Victor Zaz, 100%. People talk about Hush because I feel like Hush is the new, you know, the last five, ten years is kind of the new cool thing for Batman. Hush is a cool character, and I know they kind of tease it a little bit with the Hush, uh, talking about Thomas Wayne and the reporter and everything. He had a similar name and everything, but I gotta be honest, Victor Zaz would be shit your pants scary in this universe um and then last but not least for me the mad hatter i think the mad hatter could be really really cool because it's still realistic enough where you could have someone you know he could kind of do like a mind control thing with hats but really you know you could have this really twisted guy who in his mind he's and that's how a lot of villains are but jervis touch is uh, a very interesting character i always find him very interesting i think he's miss or he's not misrepresented, I think he's very underrepresented overall in the Batman mythos. And for a movie, I think he'd be perfect. The problem is, I think Warner Brothers wouldn't want to give him, or Clayface, give them their own movies because they're not a huge name. They're not the Riddler, they're not Two-Face, they're not Joker. Um, I mean, even Batman and Robin, they had to do um, two villains. You had to do, bad example, but you get my point, they had to do Mr. Freeze and Poison Ivy because they're both, you know, B... High B, maybe low A material for Batman. They're not the they're not the cream of the crop. So they, you know, Joker, only villain in the first movie because that's all you need. Or, you know, second film you got Penguin, who I think is is great. But there's, you know, I, I guess I'm rambling here, but you get my point. So I am worried Warner Brothers is gonna. I hope they don't look at this and say, okay, we made money, people loved it. Now we're gonna get involved. Now we're gonna say, okay, I don't want just you know, hey, um, Matt Reeves, I know you want to do Two-Face, or I know you want to do um, Mr. Freeze, 
But we also want you to throw in Clayface, you know. We want you to throw in so and so and so and so. And I, he threw in the Joker. That was my one part, honestly, about the whole movie that I wasn't excited about. I love, love the Joker, guys. He's my favorite villain. Top three. I shouldn't say necessarily my favorite. Some iterations like Mark Hamill's Joker, absolutely love. Anytime he does it. But it's overdone the last few years. Let's let's give it to someone else. Let's do something different. Batman's got the best rogues gallery. Um, only one who even comes close is Spider-Man. So let the other characters shine. That's what I'll do. But I'll leave it from here, guys. Uh, and I'm going to have a new video coming out very shortly again. We're going to be talking about uh, Jurassic World Dominion. We're going to be talking about Multiverse of Madness. Uh, a lot of stuff coming out. I'm super excited to be talking about it, guys. It's great to be back. Uh, let me know about the Batcave, too. If you guys like the Batcave, if there's suggestions, guys, I'm, I'm so open for suggestions. Um, I'll give you a tour soon because the room's really coming together. It's a pretty big room, so um, there's a lot of things we can do to it. So uh, until next time, guys, have a great day, and I'll see you next time.